Anyway, the food at Canterbury, the, the, the soldiers' mess, was disgusting, absolutely appalling. You know, one day you found a, a bandage in the, in, in the stew and everything like that, and one spent what little money one had. I mean, we got 28 shillings a week, which was about all. On going to the naffy and getting a bun to eat, you know, to make up for the, the food that we couldn't eat in the, na in the mess. Anyway, I was there for a few weeks. They didn't know what to do with me there, because... I was no use to them. So you were put on what was called fatigues. This was all sorts of duties like cleaning in the mess, doing washing up, peeling potatoes. One job that I did have was delivering coal. There were a lot of married quarters there and the, um, the married wanted coal delivered to them. So we used to have a three ton wagon and they would load it up with bags of coal and I'd go around with another couple of guys to the various married quarters and knock on the front door and say, I've got some coal for you. And some of these wives came out and they were fearsome. They swore. They swore at, with language that would do a soldier proud. <laughs> and anyway, so... I did that for a few weeks until eventually I was sent up to Eaton Hall. Um, as I said to you previously, this was a very vigorous and pretty difficult course. Um, we then went to, we did various things up there. We went up to Wales um, to a battle camp where we did live firing. I remember that quite distinctly. It must have been June or July. And it was six, it was two weeks up there. And it was blazing hot. And you had to climb up these hills and mountains, um, dig into trenches where you couldn't dig in because it was all rock. Um, but anyway, it was pretty vigorous. And I remember the weekend that we had off, two or three of us decided that we would climb Snowdon. And we climbed Snowdon in army boots and a pair of shorts. It was so hot. Um, but it was quite, quite fun. Um, you had to be quite sort of um, open-minded about all this training. Um, those people who didn't like it, they, they suffered. I mean, I quite liked it because I was quite a sporty guy and quite fit. So it went quite well. After Eaton Hall, we then got commissioned. And I, as I said, I came to the Tower of London. And down to Dover. I missed a bit. Um, where... I eventually went on this course at the School of Military Engineering at Gillingham to become what was known as the Assault Pioneer Officer. Now, in a battalion, you had four, different today, in those days, you had four rifle companies, each with three platoons, and you had a support company. The support company consisted of four platoons. One was heavy machine guns, those were the big machine guns, the heavy mortars, three-inch mortars, the anti-tanks, and the assault pioneers. The assault pioneers was the smallest company, and um, commanded by a second lieutenant. The other ones, the other companies, were usually commanded by captains or full lieutenants or regulars. Um, assault pioneers were the sort of little engineer regiment of... Uh, 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 an infantry battalion. We learned how to lay mines, lift mines. We didn't have IRD, IED, Ds those days. Um, dig trenches, river crossings, um, all those sort of things that en engineer um, people did. It was quite an interesting job because when I got 
back to the battalion, I became the assault pioneer officer in the support company. And the great advantage of it was that no one in the battalion knew what you did. So you were your own master with your 36 men. And I had a wonderful sergeant. He's still alive, Tom Coward. He lives down in Highs now. Um, he was a veteran of Korea. He was a great soldier. He eventually became RQMS. Um, anyway, so we went off down to, did training. We occasionally went to um, engineer regiments. There was a big engineer regiment at Maidstone and we would go there for a couple of days training. They would teach us various things. Um, so it was all quite interesting. I enjoyed that part. We then went up to another expedition. We went up to Thetford in Norfolk where the battalion was up there training and we went up there. I'll tell you a very amusing little instance about that. I had to go up there with a jeep, or champ as it was in those days, a one-ton truck and a three-ton truck. And the MT officer, there weren't any motorways in those, the MT officer gave me a route map which went up the A2 up to London through the tunnel, what was the name of the tunnel? Um, the Blackwall Tunnel. Um, and then up to the A11. Now the one-ton truck had danger high explosive on it because we did have high explosive and bombs and all sorts of things on this you see so that was then uh, and we got I remember we got to the entrance of the Blackwall Tunnel the Blackwall Tunnel in those days was one up and one down not like it is now and as I approached it in the champ a policeman jumped out and said sir you can't go through this tunnel with high explosive which seemed sensible to me so I had to turn this little convoy of foreign with traffic coming the other way and this way. it was a complete I saw sweating and I thought god how are we going to do this well anyway with the help of the policeman we managed to do it and I had to go over London Bridge and meet up with these other guys and Epping Forest before we went up to Thetford but that was just one thing. I wasn't actually pleased with the MT officer sending me a, a, that thing. I did actually speak to him afterwards. Um, I think his name was Mike Whedon. He was a captain, so I couldn't be too rude to him, could I? Um, anyway, we went up to Thetford where we did more training. And also, I think we had school camps coming in. You know, the, the, the junior cadet forces and we train them. We came back from that, back to Dover, and the battalion, this would have been in July 76, oh, 56, the battalion uh, was going to have new colours presented. You know what I mean by the colours. Um, presented by the Duchess of Kent that was Princess Marina who was Colonel of the Regiment at the HAC ground so the battalion was geared up to a month of drill getting ready for this ceremony up at the Tower of London uh, up at the thing and after that the, the parade went off um, I actually wasn't on the... Well, I was a sort of officer dressed up in my uniform um, as a spectator with guests. I remember it. I got a photograph of myself and my mother at home. Uh, after that, we were told, or we went, the battalion went, to Chelsea Barracks. What used to happen in the, the, the summer, the guards battalions or the, who were doing public duties in London had to go off and do training. So they had to be relieved. And as we were drilled up and smart and everything else like that, 
they said to us, right, Fusiliers, you will do this job for, I don't know, a month or something, whatever it was. I wasn't on it, but I went to Chelsea Barracks with them.